Welcome back here to Midday Kentucky. We're joined now by Dr. Fadi Basha with the Lexington Vein and Aesthetic Center. Today we want to talk about a really interesting topic and that is testosterone. And Dr. Basha I was really surprised when I was reading up about this segment. You're saying testosterone is important to monitor for men and women, and women, right? That's right. A lot of people don't know that, but testosterone hormone is important for both sexes. Now, of course, testosterone is not um, we don't have as much level for women as much for men, but it's still a very important hormone. Now, testosterone affects not only your libido, body mass, but also it, there's a study that it can affect, increase your risk of cardiovascular disease and metabolic syndrome. Now, there's a lot of myth out there that actually testosterone is bad for you and increase your risk of heart attack and stroke and, and uh, prostate cancer, and that's why I'm here to clarify these things with you. There's actually a lot of literature that support testosterone treatment for both men and women, not only just to feel good, but it also can help with managing some disease. Well, and that's what I wanted to ask you about, is what are the benefits of taking testosterone when you need it? Right, so that's, that's the key thing, is when yeah. you need it. Not everybody needs testosterone exactly. replacement therapy. So, but if you're having symptom of Fatigue, decreased libido, lack of concentration, decrease in memory, decrease in sharpness, decrease in body mass, bone density issues, uh, metabolic syndrome, obesity, all these could be related to a hormone imbalance or maybe lack of testosterone. And again, as I said, that applies for both men and females. Now, males have more uh, visible sym or, or, or notable symptom than female, but oftentimes a female comes in uh, middle age and then having a uh, symptom and then we test them and they're deficient in testosterone and replacing yeah. testosterone. And that, that also doesn't things. mean, Katie. But that's the key thing is when <coughs> you need it. Okay. Yes. And a lot of the bad publicity happens for when people use testosterone when it's not needed or use it in excess. And not monitored oh, by a doctor, oh, that right? Is, that is and correct. it's not just about, Katie, people in their 40s. It's, you could have low testosterone in your 20s. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Uh, you know, what age range are we talking about with well, these symptoms? Well, most time in men and women, the testosterone levels start to drop after the age of 30s. So mm -hmm. uh, to, f to find it in the, in the 20s is rare. Usually they have a, a problem issue with decreased, you know, go go gonism, and those are usually mo d different issues. Okay. But for uh, men, our levels start to decrease at age 30, much, much lower in 40, and definitely by 50, they're significantly lower. We don't want to wait until you have noticeable symptom uh, to, to do it. So I don't want you know, a person to come in with a big belly and say, well, okay, I, I need to. I like to prevent it before it gets that far. We, we can still treat it, yeah. but it's better to start early. Matter of fact, it's interesting. They're noticing now that men have lower testosterone now compared to our ancestors. Wow. And it makes sense. We are a higher stress society, and stress definitely eating known. Eating badly. Eating badly. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, all these chemicals that we get exposed to from yeah. Sullivan and all paint right. and all these but things. But well the good news is if you're experiencing some of these symptoms, it, it's pretty easy to just come over and see someone like you be tested and you can get people on those That is correct. Pills, so we, right? we go over, first find out the symptom and see if uh, the symptom apply to a hormone imbalance or testosterone deficiency. And then we do a blood test, usually fasting, and then uh, the replacement are very simple. There's several choices. And um, either a cream or injection. Uh, we don't even have to use testosterone. Sometimes we can use medication that can simulate a, uh, the uh, 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 cell to secrete testosterone. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so this is something that I'm just about to do because mm -hmm. I just had all my blood work done mm -hmm. oh, right. and they did forget to check for testosterone mm -hmm. levels. Mm -hmm. So I said to you the other day, do I need to fast first and then do it? That's great. But that's how you get the true response. That is correct. And we don't all also only test for total testosterone because that could be deceiving. You could have a normal total testosterone. We test also for total and free. Free is a more important form oh. because that's the one that kind of do all the action is your free testosterone. All right. Well, if you want to find out more about Dr. Fadi Basha and the Anti-Aging Institute, everyone, there it is up on the screen. Go over to their website, guys. It's really interesting. They've got lots of information on there. Or you can also give them a call. And guess what? You can also make an appointment online. And they do That's free consultations. Free consultations, guys. It's so easy. When we return, we'll take a look at our website.